All right, hello. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Minecraft. It's been a blast playing this game so far. I, well, but I guess, yeah, welcome back to another episode. Today is going to be a bit of an interesting episode. So what I'm hoping to find is I'm hoping to find some slimes, right? And the reason we need slimes is I'm going to make pistons and I'm going to make quite a lot of them. And what I'm hoping to do is once I make the pistons, I think it's like this, right? And then you do the wood like this and then no it's like this maybe yes it is okay cool let me try and even that out and just make <laughs> as many as i can i'm gonna need a lot more cobblestone i thought i had more cobblestone but apparently not 16 should be fine for the time being so we'll come back and we'll we'll build some more uh, later, I just need to go and get like a lot more cobblestone. I started collecting some off screen and I kind of realized I went, oh yeah, 64 will be enough and then clearly not. So, but the plan is, I guess, with the pistons is, and I guess, hence why I need the, the slimes is I am going to practically revamp the, the farms, right? More so the melon farms and the, well, haven't started a melon farm yet, but I will soon. I want to practically, as awesome as these farms are being as big as they are, right? It is such a hassle to get all of this. And having said that, I should actually pick it all up. But I want to automate the wheat farm, the carrot farm, and just all of these farms, just automate them with villagers. And then I actually should come in and kill, you know what? I reckon we'll kill some of the sheep because we've got so many of them. And I actually need food as well, so... And I kind of want to get away from eating bread because the bread doesn't um, do me justice. So I can get a stack of mutton, which should be good. So, but oh my god, this is going to be so loud for you guys. Oh my god, I didn't realize how many man like sheep I managed to <laughs> like grow. Oh my god, this is insane. All right, I should actually try and pick up. Oh my god, one actually managed to escape. Cheeky bugger, let's get out and get him. Don't need him. Uh, terrorizing the local farmland if I can get out my god come here buddy oh, I've run out of um stamina to run oh, my god <laughs> I have to eat one of these to even though I know I know it's a waste of stress but kill a few more get a full stack and reckon we should be right and one more there we go cool should feed me for a while and what I will do is I will just feed all of these sheep just to sort of rejuvenate the population. <laughs> Considering I just killed a ton of them. But there should be plenty to bring them all back to life. I think this will be the plan is I'll just feed, I'll kill about a stack of them at a time and then I'll eat through that whole stack of food and then I'll come back and kill another, you know, stack worth of food. And I reckon I'll feed the cows as well while I'm here. May as well. I mean, there's a lot of cows, holy crap. <laughs> I'm gonna be trapped in here for ages, jeez. Mind you, I should actually kill a stack of um, cows as well, but oh, but there's, there's actually still a lot of space, so it should be right. If I've still got space to move around comfortably, there's not enough uh, cows. <laughs> God, this is nuts, though. Like, I am actually genuinely trapped. <laughs> but yeah, this is a good sign that I can uh, chew through a whole set of wheat and uh, still be finding some to feed. All right, buddies, I need you to move. I'll try and feed some more there we go cool all right as i was saying so with uh with these farms when i get the villages i'm going to automate the wheat farms and the rest of the farms because i can't be bothered coming to dig this all up but what we will do is we will make pumpkin and melon farms right but the plan with that is i need pistons and i hence why i made them at the start of the episode but i need sticky pistons because i want to place like dirt underneath also oh, the sticky pistons underneath the dirt and then be able to hit a lever and it pushes the dirt up and uh and then kills not kills but destroys the the meat that will oh, destroy the meat destroy the um the block so i can get the melons a lot easier right that's that's the plan so except we're gonna need food and from what i was reading right i had a look on obviously i know that you can find slimes at a lower level but with the new generation i wasn't sure what level you can find slimes so anything under layer 40 you'll be able to find slimes but on top of that you can find them in the trial chambers right and i didn't know that so 
what I'm thinking is I might actually go down into the trial chamber today and clear out a clear out a trial chamber. You know, and I think the reason for that is you can find slimes in the trial chamber, right? Allegedly speaking, we'll bring a couple of golden apples just in case. So that's at least the plan there. That's what I want to do. And I actually realize I should cook these separately and hopefully cook them a bit faster. Actually, I realize I can do this even even faster. So I've got bloody four ovens. Split this this way and I can have them cooking four times as fast rather than waiting, you know, for one block at a time. But that being said, um, I reckon about 10 pieces of mutton should be good. I actually realize I don't need to bring this hoe with me because I'm not actually going <laughs> to be hoeing anything. But, you know, we'll grab whatever we can from here and I'll let the rest cook and we'll go and explore this trial chamber. Sorry for, again, this will be a bit of a long intro. Oh yeah, and I did these, by the way, in between episodes. I went down and placed the corner bit so it should look a little bit cooler. I'll maybe do the that layer in between episodes again, like the black brick layer down. But then definitely I'll make an episode where we fill the bottom level up and make the bottom level, So, which will be cool. So that being said... Let's go find this trial chamber. I remember roughly where it was. We will go down and I guess just explore it. I was going to, I totally forgot about it, right? We went and did it a couple episodes ago or we found it. And then I totally crossed my mind to come and do it. So if my memory is correct, it, it's not here. I was digging stuff here. It was around here, wasn't it? And we jumped up here. It was further up. It was around this block here. I remember. Ah, oh, yeah, here it was. Yeah, I placed like a ton of torches to, <laughs> like a yellow brick road to help me find it. Thank God for my, me doing that because otherwise I would not have remembered. And it was here, wasn't it? If I had to hazard a guess. Yeah, here it was. I don't know if I'm like underpowered or overpowered for, for these. I hope I'm okay. And I don't know if I should have brought anything else to like help me. <laughs> or whether we'll manage this way. But that being said, we should at least fill this out to give me a bit of safety trying to get in. But we'll dig ourselves in, I guess. We'll make ourselves a entry point. So this is the tough, yeah, tough bricks, cool. Now I don't know if, now like I was saying, there should be slime blocks in here, right? So we should be, should be all right. I hope these guys aren't hard to kill. Oh, he jumps. Oh, hey buddy. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Oh, okay. Do I have to try and get up here? And do I have to torch these to stop them from spawning? I don't know if that's how it works. I hope so. Hey buddy. Okay, okay I can see how... Um... Oh, alright. I can see how they can kill you rather quickly. We need to get up here and torch up their spawners. Nothing in that chest. Oh my god, this is huge. Jesus Christ. Eat up. Wow, this is crazy. I wonder what these blocks are. They're pretty pretty cool. Like I said, I really don't know. Maybe up these ladders? What's up here? I'm just hoping that there's slime spawners because that'll... That's kind of the whole reason I was going to come in here. Oh, these are so cool. It's almost like a... Um, like a... Oh, the chest. Oh, that is sick. And I'm breaking axe. Oh, and some emeralds. Sick. I guess I can mine through this, can't I? It's... Oh, that's not even up. <laughs> I thought that was a axe copper. Oh, that's copper. Yeah, I thought that was a door there, though. So, uh, that would make sense. This is all, all grayed out copper. Or green. Oh. Oh, spiders. Hey, spiders. I just realized... Oh, my God. That is a lot of spiders. I should try and torch that up. Stop them from spawning. Whoa, oh my, oh my god, that is not good. This is spider central. Oh my god, why are there so many spiders? I might actually have to eat one of these golden apples to give me a bit of a buff. Oh my god, come here, buddy. Oh, he's giving me um, slowness. God, there's just so much, so much stuff. I need to get back up there and ideally place a torch around their spawner. That was another. Oh, wind charge, that's new. Couldn't tell you what they do. Hey buddy, come here. Please die, please die. 
don't know if these guys are just going to keep spawning, so... Yeah, no, they are by the looks of it. So I don't really want to destroy these, right? Because they're good, um, good for XP, I guess. So if I had to hazard a guess, I don't actually think that uh, any slimes are going to spawn here, which is really, really unfortunate. I need to see if I can build up here. I don't know if you have to destroy these. I don't know if I should destroy this. Oh my god, that is like really hard to break. I don't think you can. I don't know what that does. <laughs> Just sitting there smacking it, so. Oh well, this is, um, I don't want to say unfortunate, but a bit underwhelming. Maybe I'm missing something, like, maybe it's, you know, i got to do something in particular. Oh, actually, there's this here. I didn't even see this. Because it's like a whole other section. Oh my god. Let me build around here so I can run across. Ooh. Oh, there's so many of you guys spawning in. God damn. Chillax, chillax. Oh my god, that just... <laughs> I'm gonna like absolutely get myself killed here. I guarantee it. Oh my god, can you guys chillax? I don't know if I'm supposed to destroy these, right? Like, I don't think I can. Alright, is there anything in this chest? Nope, there's nothing. Like I said, I'm just kind of spewing that there's no... um. No slime chests, or no slime uh, spawners, because that would have been awesome. I don't really want to go down there, to be honest. Doesn't really seem to be a, a need. Oh, actually, there was a chest here I didn't even see, with nothing in it. <laughs> oh, is except is that a way to go down there? Can't really tell. Well, yeah, it might be a way to go, actually. You know what, I'm going to eat a golden apple. Give myself a bit of health and, uh... Oh, what is this? Oh god, I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die. Oh my god, this is not good. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm actually freezing to death. What the hell? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Please, 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 please. God, leave me alone. What is that? Like, that is. That's so weird, this stuff. It's like, um, freezing. <laughs> freezing snow blocks. That's crazy. Alright. So, I don't think. I don't really know how I'm going to be able to get out of this, to be honest, unless I just dig up. Dig up this way and uh, hope that I can get out. Oh my god, oh my god, this is actually not good. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm actually going to die. Uh oh. Oh my god, oh no, this is absolutely terrible. I need to eat one of these, please. Quick, 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 quick. God damn. You guys are me absolute menaces. It's a shame because I, you can't actually jump out of that either. Like, once you fall in, it's. Unless you're kind of near an exit. I'll just dig up and get out of here. Alright, let's go. I don't need to be here anymore. There's nothing much else I can do. Which is a pity because I thought there was going to be more. Like, But oh well, it was pretty cool either way though, I've got to say. Killed, uh, killed a bit of the episode. I've got fortune 2 on that axe. <laughs> There's more of these guys I didn't, couldn't really kill. So, except the only thing is I don't know how I'm going to get out of here. Like I didn't really plan for... How to get out? <laughs> kind of jumped down, didn't I? My God, I had the exits up there. Ah, right. oh well, let's just dig out of here, and uh, you know it is what it is. My God, can you guys like leave me alone? Oh, well, that's why one way of helping me get out. Need you guys to chill, please. Thank you, and I'll um I'll see you guys around. <laughs> Let me just uh find a way to cover this up so they don't uh follow me out. Cool either way, I gotta say it was uh bit of an experience uh, except it's a pity that I like absolutely destroyed going in and <laughs> wrecked it all my oh god okay I don't need that bow that bow's totally useless the wind charges though are interesting I don't know oh that is sick oh and I can use it to jump as well <laughs> that's pretty sick well, I should keep that then I've actually got to watch a tutorial like I said on what I need to do in a trial chamber how like how do you beat it because that I uh had no idea. It was fun though, I gotta say. Something different, but yeah. Alright, I. Oh my god, I'm sick of you skeletons. I was gonna say, not another one. I just had so many of you attacking me. What did you have on this boat? Unbreaking what? A good ass boat. Except I'm not gonna keep it. Don't need it. Hmm. The only thing is that I'm not sure of then is how will I get slime unless I just like mine down to bedrock and just like clear a ton of space and whether I do that next episode or in between episodes and um 
At least that way... At least that way we'll have slime spawn and then I can worry about the farm like in other episodes, so... Which is, yeah, like I said, a bit of a pity because I wanted to make the, the slime farm this episode, but... Or the... Sorry, the the normal farm, the pumpkin farm and all that. Uh, oh well, I guess it is what it is. We will manage another way. Which is a shame because like that was kind of my plan for this episode was to do that and to upgrade the farm that way. What I realize we can do though, this episode instead, is... I reckon what we can do is we'll start revamping the farm as is. At least the melon farm and the pumpkin farm. Or at least we can get them ready, right? I also realized I would like to know how to make a redstone repeater. That would be kind of useful, I reckon. Except we're going to need some wood for sticks. And we're going to make some torches. Some redstone torches, at least. Just make, like, as many as we can. Ah, oh, there we go. So now we can make repeaters, which is cool. Redstone... We do need to make a lever as well, except I don't know how to make repeaters. That's the only problem. I have to hazard a guess it was something like this or maybe the torch. Oh God, you can tell I've like have not made repeaters in such a long time. Ah, uh, stone. Okay, I need stones. Okay, cool. I was going to say there was one way of doing it and luckily enough, I had some stone with me. Which we'll cook the rest of that stone as well. It was by the looks of it on the recipe. Let me get rid of that was like this and then on each side and torches in the middle nope it's like that yeah there we go rest and repeater cool awesome so we'll do that then i'll just make as many as i can let's get more stone and hopefully have enough to make a few more damn it <laughs> one off i was gonna say i'll be able to make two more is what it is all right six should be enough i think to be honest, I don't think you really need more than, than that anyway. We'll leave them there. And what we'll do is I'll put the last pieces of stone. I'll put the stone back in here. I'll put the redstone back in here as well. And I think the seeds are over there. So we should be... Oh, that's what I actually need to do is I need to make a uh, lever, which I can't remember. So I made so many sticks and now I don't have any sticks. All right. I think the lever was just like this, wasn't it? Or was it cobblestone? If I had to hazard a guess. Yeah, it was cobblestone. Cool. Actually, well, these two pieces of stone did come in handy. <laughs> Except I just didn't need to cook them. All right, cool. That's two levers. Levers, levers. However you pronounce them. What we'll do... Oh, actually, sorry, I did need the redstone dust as well. Doofus. 64. Bring 128 just in case. Yeah, I reckon doing it on dirt should be fine. Should be no dramas. So, the question is, is how do I want to revamp these farms, right? Because I'm thinking, what, like, what I'm thinking of doing is I might start to make automated farms, like one there, one there, one there, one there, and then just sort of float through and collect. So I probably actually don't need all of this space for one particular crop at each point in time, right? So what I might be able to do is I realized I'm going to need this to be water, this to plant it, like to plant the melon crop, and then this to grow the melon, grow the melon, plant, and then water. So, oh, but then I don't know if I want to destroy these, these farms, right? Like I kind of like having the fully grown farm there for wheat. Oh, and, and until I can automate it as well, right? Actually, you know what? I'll leave it and I will build another farm. I reckon somewhere else. I reckon, you know what? We'll do it over here. Except I realized I'm not going to have a goddamn bucket. Because I'm a doofus and seem to forget everything. We'll go grab and accept things. I don't know where I've been left all of my buckets. Except I realized I left them up there. So I won't actually have any buckets here. Which means I'm going to have to make two more buckets down here. There's so many goddamn buckets and I can't be bothered running up to, gra <laughs> to grab them. Anyway, that's alright. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll manage. So this is going to be such a chaotic episode, right? But it's all uh, all in preparation for when we get the the villagers in, right? Because once we get them in, it'll be time to start the start slaving them. <laughs> so what I'll do is I think I'll just mine this the whole way down. I know that you can be probably a little bit more efficient with the water, right? Like you don't need to have like this much water, but it's just it's low key easier to do it this way. What I will do as well is I'll probably fill 
this up while we're here. Oh, except I didn't realize that there's actually water down there, right? Or like a cold cave system. That's right. We'll fill this up. Anyway, it's uh, not too much of a drama. Because I realize this is going to be the layer that we hoe it down. And I reckon, be a, I reckon I can be a little bit more efficient with the water here. There we go. And the beauty of this is you can then just... Like, I don't need to run all the way back to my uh, infinite water source for that. I can just end up using it there. Like, you just go a few more blocks back and you've got you've got water, which is great. I think it's easier if I put the water down first, right? Is because at least... I suppose I'm actually not going to have enough. Because I'm going to have to hoe that plant block. Okay, it was actually one over. Because, yeah, you've got to obviously hoe this layer and then it'll grow onto that block. So, pumpkin farms and all that, like, these sort of farms are so goddamn inefficient, right? <laughs> but, oh well, what can you do? But, oh, it's going to be done. It'll be a good farm either way, so once it's all, uh, once it's all done. And what we'll do now is I'll start. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Oh, there we go. Easy. I was going to say, I wanted to, like, glitch it so I can get infinite water. Oops. Didn't want to place water up there. But this is such a process, though. Getting the water up and down this way. But once it's done, it's good. And I realized uh, now getting the water. Probably shouldn't have placed the water first because this is actually going to make it a bit more of a hassle. But I'm also getting the redstone underneath in preparation for the pistons. And I wish I could use normal pistons, but obviously, normal pistons don't pull the block back down, which is uh, evidently the problem. But if we can get the pumpkin farm up and ready this way i think next episode we'll then obviously go and get the villagers here so and i realize i'm gonna have to build them a bloody slave quarter slave slave quarter is that a nice thing to say and have some, have somewhere for them to sleep as well all right that's the water done so i can get rid of them now and i need to get rid of the torches in the middle because i won't have space for them all right so now this is where i'm gonna have to till the land and you know what I realized? I can't actually have that block there. I know like that looks absolutely horrible, but I don't want it to be grown that way by accident. So but oh, we'll hoe this down and then yeah, get pumpkins growing, which will be pumpkins and melons, which will be absolutely sick. Oops, <laughs> don't want that one to be growing up here. <laughs> so I think when you eventually start farming, my God, not farming, growing and capturing villagers, right? Melons and uh, pumpkins I found were like the best way to get emeralds. And I don't know whether that's because they're easier to grow. And if you're kind of doing other things, they just grow on themselves or they grow by themselves. I mean, sorry, every plant does grow by itself, but they grow faster or they go pretty fast, which is good. I think you just need good uh, good lighting and you'll be, you'll be good. Anyway, I, I guess the unfarm part now is you've got to wait for these to grow but this is where the interesting part is going to be right is at least setting it up for the the pistons right so i'm gonna to have to think we have to go down one block so this is going to be the growing layout so growing layout piston layout and then redstone layer right Oh God, I've got like such a two second memory. Actually, it might be easier if I dig up this way to figure it out. So, growing layer, piston layer, growing layer, piston layer, and then redstone layer. Okay, so evidently the problem I'm going to have, right, is, and maybe I'll have to test it, but with the repeaters, right, but just to see how far the, the signal goes, right, that, hence why I needed the repeaters. Except the only problem is I don't know how far this is going to go. I kind of reckon we have to hit the, the water and... Actually, I should go back this way, right? And hopefully figure it out. Three, four... And there we go. We've already got one pumpkin grown. I actually realized what I should do is just dig down. Oh, except that's got water there. Okay, this is actually going to be somewhat problematic then. Uh, you know what? I To be honest, once I hit... I know once I hit here, this will be the, the layer that I need to stop uh, digging. Mind you, I should actually mine that and get some more pumpkin seeds. Because at this rate, we're going to have like an absolute ton of pumpkins, which is fantastic. And obviously, I'll rework these. Like, I'll expand it further that way by a few more blocks once 
I've got more melons to plant and such, so. But anyway, having said that, we'll keep digging. The water's gonna be like a bit funky, I reckon, to have to deal with, so hopefully um we can manage. This is fun though, I gotta say, like lining up all the redstone and stuff, like it's pretty fun. Or at least getting it ready right. Alright, here we are. So here's the fun part of having to deal with the water this way. So I realized as well, I have to block up this as well. Ooh, better get back and not drown. And what we'll do, so it's obviously to here. Okay. So, we'll mine this. And we will try and block this up as well. Actually, I think the best bet is just filling this up, right? That'll get rid of the water one way or another. There we go. The best way of trying to deal with anything is just, uh, just fill it up. We've obviously gone too far now. <laughs> Alright, I kind of hope that this was it. Yep, seems so. So it seems this is the, the last block here. And what I'll do is I'll fill... I can I'll block this up. And what I'll do is I'll put two torches here, so at least I know that that's the end of it, right? Oh, but then you know what I realized, right? We're going to actually have to dig this up, regardless of this layer here. Because this layer is going to be the layer that we place the pistons on. So... We're going to need so many goddamn pistons, I just realized, as well. This is not going to be fun. I know that there's another sort of automated piston farm you can do with the observers. Like, it observes when they grow, and then it, like, smacks them. And you get, like, the minecart underneath, and that's a better way of doing it. But I think we're a bit far out from doing that at the moment. So, I think we're looking at... So, not this layer, but this layer here for the torches. Or for the redstone, sorry. All right, now for the fun part of trying to figure out how I'm actually going to wire this all up, right? Because we're going to need the levers. Levers, levers. <laughs> so, also going to need something to eat because I'm hungry. We're going to need dirt as well. So, obviously, the first one's going to go here. Question. Hey, buddy, what are you doing in my farm, bro? <laughs> Causing trouble. Again, I'm not sure how I'm going to want to wire this up, right? Whether it's just going to have to be like this as ugly as this is to try and wire it up this way okay that does work okay cool actually you know what i realized right what i can do is actually i might actually have the that there and i forget that what you can do is you can actually have the redstone underneath and turn it on that way right so actually i should see i should actually keep it on and that'll give me a good inclination of how far I can go before I need the repeater so I think I think it's eight blocks right like it's one actually I should just search this up like the distance of can be transmitted up to about 15 blocks right and then you need a repeater so that is one two three four technically 15 but we'll say about here right and we'll do repeaters from there the other thing is i'm not sure if the repeaters are going to power the block above it right 15 and then that should be yep so we'll do that and then that should hopefully be enough as well one 13 okay cool we've actually got the perfect distance to get them the whole way right awesome easy easy days i realized i probably should have lit up these blocks right for the torches oh, actually but you know what i realized we're not gonna that lays this is gonna be the piston layer right so it's almost no point in lighting up these, the top layer. All right, cool. Well, you know what? I'm going to say this is a start for this. At least we know that this is ready. I've just got to do the fun part of trying to get a crap ton of slime now for the pistons, uh, as well as getting the pistons ready. So, so I just realized we're going to have to we'll lock this up, I reckon, for the time being. And I'll leave... I'll leave that there, right? We'll actually should turn them off as well. And again, I can fix this all up later. Like if it looks a bit ugly now, like it's no uh, no dramas that way. But there we go. First, it's a watermelon, right? God, I love farming though. This is, I gotta say, the fun part of this game is farming and making contraptions like that where it's like automated and like it's all pretty sick. 
but we'll grow oh that was the quickest watermelon growth ever my god it's gonna say that's one way of uh one way of doing it which makes my life easier oh my god voice crack jeez <laughs> but yeah it makes my life easy because i get watermelon faster and we'll plant the rest of these uh pumpkin seeds oh my god we're gonna have so many pumpkins god damn but cool i'll um i reckon i'll have to hang around here afk just let these all grow and and all that hopefully get some slimes as well so yeah i reckon we'll call it an end to this episode i just realized i totally missed and forgot to do that corner of the <laughs> of the the tower right actually you know what we can do that while we're here no shame in it extra extra content for you guys to see me do or extra extra content i don't know what i'm trying to say my god i'm professional yap up okay we'll leave these levers and all that in here I'll leave the buckets in here too what was like oh the stone right that's what we needed and i reckon actually i'll do this layer as well like the deep slate layout as well and yeah and then obviously tips in the comments thank you guys for commenting as well so much you guys have been awesome the amount of comments as well I totally forgot to say at the start of the episode but um yeah like tips for using like sand and all that to get rid of the water like that's obviously a lot faster than bloody placing individual blocks because that's just going to take like absolutely forever that way so yeah anyway we'll go do this real quick and you guys can see my um my suffering in trying to place all of this uh all of this stone under the water to you know get it to look cool it's like this i've <laughs> bloody dick around trying to find what layer to place to and i've already wasted all my air i think it was to this layer i believe and I'm trying to like keep it all in line with the other layers so i think it was that layout oh my god air <laughs> actually i realized i've got doors right i made doors for this specific reason i always bloody forget about them so i should actually place this door here so i can get in and breathe and uh place this all down as well as uh mine this all up but yeah so i guess like i said i um on a side note i'm glad that you guys have been absolutely loving the the series so far it's been awesome to see all the amazing uh comments and support and all that like it's really really appreciated it's absolutely awesome hopefully this uh keep the series going as long as we can because it's done really really well and i'm so happy with how it's all gone so yeah it reminds me i should actually keep this sand and i i got so much sand before and i ended up smelting it all into glass but i realized yeah i should have kept it so i'll be sure to keep this sand to fill all this in because um otherwise we're it take me absolutely forever oops i placed them in the wrong spot but yeah this is obviously the fun part of trying to <laughs> trying to fill this all in while underwater it's a bit of a process but it's it's good though and the aim was of at least so like i was trying to say earlier in the episode each one of these four pillars are the stone has been placed to the exact same level so at least when i build across i know that it's all level which is good so saves me a bit of trouble later trying to worry about it all right now let's place the walls in and get that piece of sand as well i just realized i can probably place it like this as well rather than uh actually no i think it's just easier to go above and beyond and go that way instead so yeah we'll do this wall as well and i know i'm gonna start taking damage here and i better get in to get some air so yeah, I really don't know what I want to do with these corners. I might leave these corners just like, uh, like I might not go into them. Like, sorry, I might not open them up like I have the layer above. I'll just leave them squared off in the layer below, which probably doesn't make too much sense as I'm trying to explain it. But you guys will see what I mean when I start uh, building the next layer below, which actually I might do that next episode. I know I keep saying I, I keep pushing stuff around like crazy, so i realized I, I, I can't speak i need to set up the i need to get the the area for the uh, villagers set up right so they can uh at least i can just drag them straight in right and then have them like just living i know this is not going to make sense why i'm placing all this sand right now but you guys will see what i'm trying to do temporarily actually you not know i realize it might actually just be easier to do it uh upstairs so I realize I need to also destroy, oh, sorry, not destroy, place in blocks there. And then it might be easier to go the other way. And then start placing the sand on the inside to 
get rid of the water. I do need to get sponges though. I know you can find sponges from sea temples, but I don't really know where to find sea temples. I'd like, obviously they're in the sea, but where is a different story. And actually while we're here, what I will do is, hence why I brought all the deep slate blocks, is I will place uh, these walls in. So at least it should actually look a bit cooler underneath as well. God, this is going to be like such a hassle, but so cool as well. And that's two. Oh my god. <laughs> Thing is though, like it's all fun, right? It's it's good. Like it's 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 a bit difficult placing stuff underwater, but it's it's cool either way. Oh, oh that's not good. That's not good. I'm actually gonna drown. <laughs> Jeez, I um I need a helmet of breathing. I think you can get, which uh is yeah, obviously you breathe underwater. But you can also get boots as well, like boots of swimming or something like that. Which uh, obviously makes you swim a lot faster, but I feel that by the time I need that, I uh, will have had the base done. So, oh, I better get up again. That's right, it's one wall at a time. Brick by brick. <laughs> Actually, I just realized I'm going to need to dig into those from this second underwater layer, right? And the reason I need to do that is because I'll have my whole ladder system go down from these corners, right? So, I actually will need to go in there and flush all the water out regardless. But, on a more positive note, I realized once I... It's just this water layer that's going to be difficult. But, once I once I get rid of the water, I'll... And I start digging into the actual dirt and uh, rocks and all that, it'll be so much easier to build it, right? Because there's no water to deal with. Except the only thing is, is I actually don't have enough stone blocks. Or deep slate blocks. As I drown again. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let me sleep. Get rid of the... Get rid of the rain again and uh that'll give us a better look of yeah so how much how much better does that look that it actually goes down into the water now like that's as i hiccup that's sick that looks like really really cool so i uh also know that these look a bit bare to be honest a bit boring looking a bit basic but yeah definitely give me ideas of what i should put like if i should rip any blocks out and like place a design in or put a design on the outside give it a bit of like uh texture so let me know but yeah i think that's it i'm gonna say for this episode i actually realized i should start with this corner i know this is gonna be a bit weird so i know i was literally about to say we'll end this episode off there but what i want to do really quickly is just place this and i reckon we'll just do it section by section what we'll be able to do is i'll get rid of these this layer of Oh god, I just broke my uh, shovel. That is a pity. That's right, I've got spare diamonds anyway. Um, I'll get... Oh, actually, I've got gravel, I realized, as well, somewhere. I think I left gravel in one of these chests. Or not, I'm tripping. I collect so much goddamn gravel and then I just end up chucking it, you know, get rid of it. That's right, I'll make another diamond shovel. Cool, 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 cool. I'll, um, I'll leave that for next episode. I'll um, deal with that later. So we'll, we'll fill this back up and we'll go from there when I actually want to expand, which I think will actually be next episode anyway. So we'll get that set. Oh my God, that's going to be such a massive undertaking, I realized, trying to get rid of all of that water underneath. My God, it's going to be insane. I'll get us ready for that and we can do that next episode. Oh, actually, you know what we can do? I can actually bring the, the villages in next episode. And then I can do the episode after that. I can start constructing this and building them rooms. We'll worry about that next episode. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So adios.